In our body, we have lots of different kinds of cells. Brain cells in the brain, and gut cells in the gut, and red blood cells and white blood cells in the blood, and sometimes bacteria or other types of pathogens which can make us sick. Our immune system is armed to defend us against these kinds of pathogens, to find them and kill them. At the same time, the immune system must not attack the body's own cells, because we need them. So how can our body distinguish between the cells that belong to itself and the cells that don't belong to itself? Well, one of the ways cells are different from each other are the kinds of markers they have on their surface. Blood cells have one set of markers and brain cells have another set. And they all look slightly different from each other. Bacterial cells have different sets of cell surface markers compared to human cells. Sometimes even the cells from one person have different sets compared to another person. For example, the red blood cells of blood group A have different surface markers from those of blood group B. Scientists also call these surface markers antigens. Now the immune system can detect these cell surface antigens with small proteins called antibodies. Antibodies are produced by special white blood cells called B cells and they can bind to the surface antigens of foreign cells, but not the body's own cells. Different antibodies have different shapes, which match the different shapes of the antigens. In this way, antibodies are very specific, meaning that each antibody can only bind to one particular surface antigen, like a lock and a key. Because antibodies have two arms, they can bind to two antigens at the same time. And as you can imagine, lots of antibodies binding to lots of cells can make big clumps. These big clumps can then be found and eaten up by another important player of the immune system, the phagocytes. The B cells in our body produce lots and lots of different antibodies, so that we can detect lots and lots of different kinds of cells that might enter our body from the outside. In this way, the immune system can fight almost anything that has different surface antigens compared to our own cells. At the same time, our body has mechanisms that make sure that we don't have B cells that make antibodies against our own surface antigens, so that we don't attack ourselves. As you can see, antibodies are one of the most powerful tools the immune system has to defend our body against pathogens.